Okay, so today we're going to look at the target market page in your GCSE coursework um, called client or potential user. Make sure we use the correct terminology, although we are talking about looking at clients, potential clients for your coursework, um, you need to make sure that you're talking about the correct terminology. So as before, we've got here an example of a GCSE sheet of a client or potential user investigation. So as with all the coursework, make sure it's in A3 in landscape and that you've put the title in evidence at the top nice and clearly and use the same format, so the same sort of font, uh, colour scheme, layout that you've used previously. OK, so what is your client? Well, you've decided to produce a product for a particular target market and that sometimes is specified in the brief. So sometimes it says you need to design products for teenagers, for example. Or it might be that you need to design for um, both genders. So it, look carefully at what the actual brief is set by the exam board. This one we're looking at here is a generic client of a lady in her 30s who shops, uh, are ready to look at products that they're going to produce that are suitable for this person. So think about who this customer is. If it's something that's out of your comfort zone, so if this is going to be a client that you have no uh, knowledge of. So for example, last year we had the target of uh, disability. So of course, lots of us don't have any understanding of what that client's needs really are. So if that's the case, you're going to need to do a real in-depth investigation to begin with of who this client is. If you need to go away and do that research, you can do that in two ways. You can go online and you can look for existing clients. So you could look at celebrities. You could go and find somebody who's a celebrity that fits within that client target market and look in depth at their lifestyle, look at interviews that they've given, and then you can present that as your research. You could also do it as a one-to-one. -one. So if you know someone, for, so for example, if you knew a 30-year-old that is in your family or within your range of acquaintances, you could interview them. You could give them a range of questions that they could answer that would enable you to get more understanding of who this person is. So that's what we need to do. Let's have a look at some examples of these pages. So the first example is an example of a, a level four to five. It's an average, a good average. Uh, it's got there a made up client. And what they've done is they've come up with a range of questions of who they're going to uh, ask, what they're going to ask to try and ascertain who this client is and what their needs are. So you can see there's a, a little bit at the top that summarizes who this client is trying to think about these two, this couple who've got a young family and, you know, what their specific needs are in the home. And then there's about five, six questions there where they've asked them about what their needs are in the home. Now, this, this particular topic was about safety in the home, producing products for safety. So your questions should try and ascertain things about that particular aspect. It's no good just asking them, uh, what night of the week do we eat pizza, for example? You need to ask them, what are their purchasing problems as to do regards to safety as a topic? So what sort of products do they need? Where in the house are their safety issues? What products are they unable to get their hands on and that we'd like to see uh, created to answer their needs? So, for example, you can already get stair gates that protect children from climbing upstairs and falling down. Uh, but are there other aspects within the house where you would like to see safety products produced that are going to help children keep safe? Key thing about this page is at the bottom on the right hand side, there's a summary. So after you, you've asked your questions and you've got your answers, you need to write what you found from doing this research. So what did you find out from asking those questions? So are you in a better place after asking the questions than you were when you started? The second example is a really good example of a sort of level seven, eight, where we've got a realistic client, uh, a good introduction of who this client is. Again, this is the same topic, safety in the home. 
asking quite pertinent questions to try and find out exactly what that client needs as regards the safety aspects. And you can see that their answers are more in depth. Because they've asked quite particular questions, they've enabled their client to give them quite in-depth answers. And that's much better. If you can be very specific about what you're asking, then you're going to get a wider range of answers. So you can see, again, there's only five questions there, but because they're quite specific, she's got much wider depth results. And from that, she's able to sum up at the bottom with much, much more in-depth analysis of what this client investigation has given her. Both of them got pictures on the page. So there's just some ideas of uh, the type of scenario of where you would need to have safety products. Don't fall into the trap of just showing pictures of people that are your clients. Try and show the products that are relevant to the questions that you're asking. So, for example, we've got an example of a stair gate. And on the other side, there's some more further products that have been produced that are about safety in the home. We've also got an iconic British standard symbol there to show us the kite mark that's usually used to show that products have been tested. So anything that is also symbols or other images that are within this topic, you could include on this page. Hope that helps. Good luck.